Let's talk about the elephant in the room, or in my case, in my mouth. Ladies and gentlemen, meet The Gap. I have not named her yet, but maybe you guys can help me come up with a, a loving pet name for my Gap. Maybe it'll help me during this whole process. This Gap has turned out to be a lot more than I bargained for. You know, I can deal with the the ever-growing Gap. I mean, it's it's right now it's cute, but every turn of the Marpy, it gets wider and my doctor said oh just maybe one more centimeter to go and or no millimeter one more millimeter to go and i'm thinking this is about half a millimeter another millimeter full on top of this i could it's going to be it's going to be large i'm going to have a large blow hole in between my two front teeth that's going to be challenging but what is more challenging is the lisp it's the talking the talking the the shh you don't realize how valuable your speech is until you're compromised. Those of you that have been following my those, see every time I say those, the, those of you who have been following my journey understand that I have, I, I have something called the Marpy up in there. It's an expander screwed to the roof of my mouth with six screws. And I did this in order to expand my upper palate in order to have a larger airway in order to then get my said tongue tie that I discovered I had two tongue ties about five months ago. And my gosh, this went from a tongue tie to major reconstructive you know, surgery in my mouth. This is not what I bargained for, but I also, this is the thing. This is the thing. I'm that girl that when I go in, I go all in. But this has been next level a lot more challenging than I realized. And I am only in for the first few weeks. I can't even imagine how my talking is gonna be compromised. And I know this is third world problems, I can still talk, but I'm telling you, I, I'm, I'm struggling with this. A rant, but I just, I gotta get this off my chest. I just gotta get this off my chest. I was working on a project yesterday and today, and it took me, with a voiceover, it took me an hour to do like a paragraph because I kept hearing the and the with all my words and it felt mumbled and jumbled and it was so frustrating. I thought, how am I gonna make through? How, how am I gonna go through the next seven months and be able to articulate and not sound goofy? So I gotta tell you, I, I bought a tooth I bought a tooth kit, like a temp tooth, a temp tooth. I was, I'm like, oh, I just gotta have this, it'll help. Cause I'm thinking if the air is blocked here, then I can talk better. Now, mind you, some of the articulation is happening because uh, of that contraption taking up rent in my mouth. But I got the temp tooth and it was a whole ordeal. We'll talk about that another time. Let me tell you, I took like two hours to make the thing and I was crying and trying to get it in. Then it got stuck and then I couldn't get it out. And it just looked like I had chiclets. It, yeah, it, it was not good. It was not good. But, and then the pain, you know, the pain is subsiding some, but you know, I got pain right here. Like, I guess the expansion, I've got this pain right in here and the constant like pain in the mouth, but it's, it's lessening, it's lessening right now because, because I haven't had to turn my Marpy for two days. Tomorrow I turn it again. So I'm a little, you know what it sounds like? It sounds like I've got a lozenge in my mouth. Talk about some of the positives. Here's some of the positives since I'm in like the saying all the negative stuff. I, I know at the end, at the end, I'm gonna have my tongue tie release and I'm gonna have no more tension in neck in my shoulders and in my neck and in my hip and I'm gonna be a stand up straighter. But here's the good thing. So far, I've already noticed I can breathe better. You know, you don't realize how much you don't breathe until you start breathing better. And because this is expanding, it, it expands the airways in the, in the nose area, as well as in the actual throat area. And I can tell you when I take a deep breath, it is much deeper, much deeper. And, and you know what else? My sleep scores have been, other than two nights when I didn't sleep well at all, but the sleep scores when it comes to the, oxy the oxygen intake and not stopping and breathing, because I was doing that with the sleep apnea, I was stopping like 28 times per hour about a minute and 40 each, you know, each time. And I, my, my oxygen levels in the last week have been like optimal. So I know just with this little bit of expansion that that part, that that's a good, that's a very good thing. Okay, the not so good thing. I, I said I would say good things, but I gotta tell you the bad stuff and the good stuff. The bad stuff is food. Food has become not a fun experience at all. 
food gets stuck up in the in the expander. I have these metal clippy things, so when you're eating, it feels like you're chewing on metal. Yeah, teeth are tender, so you can't really chew anything chewy. You have to be very soft. I'm like living on smoothies and soups, and now it just it the it the Marpy sucks the joy out of eating. But here's the good thing. If you're someone that says, hey, I could stand to lose a few pounds, or I don't wanna eat so much, may I suggest get a Marpy? Now, if you're someone like me who struggles with talking a lot and loving to talk, but maybe needs to just listen more and less talking, may I suggest the Marpy? Because your mouth will be a little more tender, a little more sore. You might be a little more self-conscious when you talk, so you might listen more and talk less. And that, my friend, could be a good thing. The more that you just get comfortable with showing your gap with talking, even though it sounds funny. Oh, there's the mailman. The more you do that, the faster you'll just get more comfortable. Like, and, and then you know what else, ladies? If you have the gap, may I suggest lipstick and makeup? It really does make a difference. You'll go being from less kind of hillbilly, which I can say, because I'm from Kentucky originally, you go less hillbilly and more Lauren Hutton. Look, maybe I'm just a lot tougher on myself. I am a recovering perfectionist, so if you're, if you're a perfectionist, this, hey, you know what? If you're a recovering perfectionist like me, excuse me, or if you want to recover, may I suggest a Marpy because you will be challenged. Your self-esteem, your ego will be from here to boop in like a New York second. Humor. Humor is really important when you're going through the process of the Marpy expander. You have to be able to laugh at yourself. And, oh, and you know what else you can do? The good thing is you can do, you can squirt water between your teeth, like, which is really fun. And if you're eating chia pudding, you can also squirt out chia, chia pudding. I would say that if you're someone who struggles with eating with your mouth open, a Marpy may not be a good idea for you, or maybe it would train you to keep your mouth closed when you eat. Final thoughts on the subject. Do I have any regrets? Do I have any regrets on this tongue tie journey of getting the Marpy expander? No. I don't, although, although it is much bigger than I ever bargained for. I didn't realize how much pain I would have. Like I said, the pain is starting to subside, so that is good. I don't wanna scare people, but I'm just being honest. This is the fact. It's not a real pleasant experience when you're an adult. I'm keeping my eye on the prize, my eye on the prize of the end result. Remember, I get the Marpy, I expand my upper palate, I breathe better, my airway opens up so my sleep apnea resolves, and then I can safely get my, tongue my two tongue ties released that fascia is so tight that it gives me the forward head posture, chronic neck tight shoulders, my hip pain, forward head. You know, there are a host of things that happen from a tense, tight body. Even my pectus at the bottom that I have that has pulled my chest, the concave chest, even the, the doctor um, said that that tongue tie is related to that. They're seeing a more pulled in. So in the end, this struggle of the seven plus months of having to wear this and deal with the ever growing gap and the lisp which by, you know, talk about learning to self-acceptance and learning to love yourself with this. I thought the gray hair was a journey. This, this is the journey. But ultimately the payoff for the rest of my life is worth this uncomfortable, you know, experience. And I have to tell you, I have such a good team. And I think that's what really makes it so wonderful for me is that I have such a great, I have my orthodontist, Dr. Manueli, who has been amazing. His team is so kind and gentle. They are like listening to everything that I'm going through and they're giving me advice and tips. They're on like speed dial, you know, anything that I need. They have been so wonderful. And, you know, I've got my, my myofunctional therapist, Minette, who I love, love, love. And, you know, she's been my cheerleader. And then I'll have um, Dr. Zaghi at the Breath Institute who will ultimately do my tongue tie release. They have all been so supportive. And I know that, you know, I feel like I'm well cared for. So even though this has been a struggle and I'm just, you know, a few weeks in, I, I feel like I'm in good hands. All right. Thank you for listening to my story and I love you.